In this video, I will speak about changes in a server project. Let's do it step by step. In the old studio, when a server project was created, it was automatically opened in the config tab. Project overview to move between project tabs was on the left. The tab contained schedule, routine, scheme, config and input-output. And there were two tabs on the right to open device tree and global cache database. In the new studio, when a project is created, we do not see project settings. We do not see config. The config is now accessed as by pressing the gear icon. And all settings from project settings in the old studio are located here. On the left, you can see driver tree. And the driver tree tab contains all settings that in the old studio was split into two tabs drivers and iridium server. Let's add a driver. And this tab contains both driver settings and settings that were located in iridium server tree in the old studio. Let's add Modbus TCP driver to the project in the old studio for you to see and compare. Driver settings were on the right and server settings were on the left. Now driver settings are above server settings. In the old studio, a server tag was deleted with the help of right mouse button. Now you do it in the server settings by choosing false. And you see that the arrow next to the command is not bright blue, but pale blue. It means that there is no server setting for this command and you can't control this command from a panel or use it in scripts, as it does not exist for the server. Schedule, Routine and Scheme are now located in the tabs on the right. It's much more convenient as you have enough space to create what you want. Inside, everything remains the same. And as more space appeared, here is a separate tab for scripts. Let me create a new script. And now you can use scripts and the tree at the same time. You can drag and drop a required command and it is moved with the driver name and all its parameters. Now let's move on to new functions that appeared in a server project in the new studio. Tabs for system and project tokens appeared on the right. In the old studio, project tokens could only be found in a panel project. Now they are in a server project too. Have a look here. You can move tabs and place them the way it is convenient to you. You can move a tab by pressing and holding the name of the tab. A new tab appeared, it's ETS import. It's more convenient than the previous import. A driver is created in a separate tab, and you can drag and drop it to the driver tree in the order it is convenient to you. See a video about the new import on our YouTube channel. A new tool appeared here, it's called Schemes. I'll make a separate video for you on the schemes. These schemes allow you to create logic on the server if you do not know scripts. In the old studio, to change values coming from equipment, you had to write a script. Or, if you wanted to compare something, a script was required. In the new studio, you do not have to write scripts. It's a native tool. It works faster than scripts and it does not load the memory of the server the way scripts did it. It's quite easy to use, you'll understand it yourself when you try it. One more new tool is called Forward Value 2. To understand what it does, remember a lesson where we created a command and a feedback channel with the same name, and then we wrote a script that allowed us to forward a command that came to this virtual command from a panel to a feedback channel with the same name. Now, the script is not required. 
all we have to do now is to enter in the forward value to a setting where you want to send a value. It can be done in two ways. First, I select a command, then go to forward value 2 and then select a required virtual channel. It appears in the second column and in the field of forward value 2. And now everything that comes to this command is automatically forwarded to this feedback channel. And there is one more way to do it. Simply drag and drop a required feedback channel in the second column. Thus, you set data with change with one click. And the last change in settings of a server project is emulator. In the old studio, you had to press send to transfer and then upload the project to the server. It was not very convenient, especially when you debugged a project on Windows. Now you can simply click the emulator button, save the project and it is automatically launched on Windows Server, just like a panel project. It's very convenient and it allows to test all changes in the project fast.